Go ahead and call the meeting oh, yeah, to order. That's all right. We're going to start. Okay. Okay. Good morning. We're going to call the redistricting committee to order. Can we roll call, please. Member Kaplan? Here. Member Chavez? Here. Member Kaczynski? Here. Member Otak? Member Pachowski? Here. Member Rutledge? Here. Member Say? Here. Okay, we have quorum. We're on the public comment. Uh, Jason, you're going to read some public comment that came in, and then we have some people here that also want to speak. Yes, uh, we have one public comment that was submitted online from Edgar Pell, subject keeping communities together. Uh, the comment reads, the proposed maps do not appear to keep certain communities intact, despite what certain members of the committee have claimed. For example, Winfield and Wheaton are split between di districts four and six, with a boundary line that cuts arbitrarily through residential neighborhoods. The district five boundaries also cut through neighborhoods of Lyle and Naperville. This could be easily fixed by completely placing Naperville in district five and Lyle in district two. Similarly, Clarendon Hills is not completely within district three. Further, the boundaries don't follow major roadways, even when it is obviously feasible to do so. For example, District 2 has a few blocks north of North Ave, which seems quite arbitrary. District 4 has a few blocks north of Army Strong Road, which unnecessarily puts a small portion of Bloomingdale in that district. In the last two meetings, several people assumed that the new maps kept uh, keep municipalities intact. Well, this is obviously not the case. I suggest the map be revised to improve uh, upon this criteria or criterion for redistricting. That is it for the... Uh, online public comment. And then the first individual that came in for in-person is Mary Lou Worley. Uh, good morning. Uh, thank, I'm Mary Lou Worley. I live in Naperville and I'm a former Forest Reserve Commissioner, uh, but have been active in the process of DuPage County since 2008 when uh, I worked as a citizen to get the trail link from Jefferson to Ogden built. Um, with all that coordination that went on, it led me into my continued interest in the county and the redistricting. The redistricting opportunity, you've gotten a lot of progress and you're right on the cusp of finalizing today, I believe, what you're gonna to send to the county board. And I would like to reiterate my opening comments when you first convened to include now a portion of Green Valley Forest Preserve in District 5. You've already set precedent by your current maps, um, uh, including a, just pieces of the forest preserve so that you can get continuity to district three with increased populations that make up your standards for service. Uh, the good thing about putting uh, a portion of the Green Valley Forest Preserve, which is from Route 53 to the west between Hobson and 75th Street and Green Road, that's the only portion. There are no voters there. You've already made precedent by putting a portion of Green Valley in, a, in, a, in, um, in, in the boundaries of District 3, and that connectivity is maintained. And this also, the reason for this is I've been a champion of the Green Barn for 40 years, and there has been a lot of momentum lately to actually see how it might be open to the public. This morning, Stantec Consulting gave that report to the Forest Preserve District of DuPage County, and it included a market analysis of the Green Barn. So this aligns with Naperville, back to the alignment of interest with the community, kind of like the previous speaker, this green barn uh, and the green family have been aligned with Naperville. The energy coming to see this public community county asset come into greater use by the public is gonna be supported by showing that we, 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 we can put it in district five where the interests are. And it aligns with the natural boundary of the East Branch River. And it all, a DuPage River, and it also aligns with Route 53 as a natural boundary. There is not one voter that will be affected by this, but it will be a wonderful thing that I hope you give strong consideration in your final map that you put forward. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Mary, I don't want to butcher your last name. Hobine? Hobine. Hobine. Um, I'm the president of the League of Women Voters, the Donors Grove Voters in Lyme. Um, as was stated at the previous uh, redistricting committee meeting, the proposed maps do meet the federal and state guidelines, and they do meet guidelines met, uh, set by the League of Women Voters. Um, so whatever you decide to do today, please keep those requirements in mind. Thank you. Great. Thank you. If anybody that came in that wants to speak after public comment? No? Okay, move on to chairman's remarks. Uh, first of all, I just wanna thank everyone. Obviously this has been uh, a process that we set on here since January and a lot of input and a lot of talking. I wanna thank our staff 
uh, for everything that has gone on and, and their work and a lot of calls and handling things. Our special state's attorney who has been there for us, our consultant, Tired Sack and Josina on. <clears throat> Yes, we're here. Okay, thank you guys for all your work uh, and the board members on this committee and other board members have come. I appreciate all that. I think from the beginning we said we wanted a, an open and transparent uh, process and I think we've we've fulfilled that. So I appreciate everybody and, and their work and it's okay to disagree and I think we we're disagreeing in the right way. We Everybody can have their, their minutes to speak and you know ultimately at some point we'll have to vote on it. But again, thank you to everybody. Um, with that, I'll move on to approval of the October 12th minutes. So moved. Second. Okay. Member Chaplin, second member Wachowski. Any questions or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, we have resolutions. Um, the first resolution really doesn't have anything to do with the map, it just has the size of the county board. So is there a motion on RDCR 467-21 determination of the size of the county board? So moved. Second. Okay. Moved by Member Rutledge, seconded by Member Chaplin. Any questions or comments? Was it three members per district? Three members per district. Okay. Yeah. I tried a long time ago to two members. I know. <laughs> uh, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Now the next Aye. item. Yeah. A reluctant <laughs> eye from Member Krajewski. Yeah. Make the eye a little bit longer. Maybe a couple extra flies <laughs> and <laughs> and then the next item, so we can have discussion, is there a motion on RDCR 470-21, reapportionment plan and map? So moved. Second. Member Chowski, second by Member Chaplin. Okay, discussion. And, you know, Jason, can we, you have some stuff that was requested. Could we have that stuff passed down? Yes, sir. Over to sir. Thank you, Chairman. I, I would just like to hear um, the experts, Josina and Zach. Um, did you hear the public comments from... Mary Lou Worley and from Edgar Fowl. And could you um, respond to their suggestions on if we could or couldn't, you know, move the map a little bit to uh, take into their considerations? I heard it, but I'll let Josina uh, take the lead. Sure. Okay. Did you hear the comments, Josina? Yeah, I did. And I also received a number of public comments um, that have been received by the county, uh, by the committee over the last uh, week or two. So I would, I'll work at the, at the direction of the committee. So if the committee would like me to review not just those comments, but other comments and requests that have come in, I'm happy to take them as a whole instead of individually, because they'll, the implications for um, equal population uh, will depend on uh, being able to balance the requests. Thank you. Um, Chairman, I'd just really like you to consider Mary Lou Worley's request because she made that request even before this in, this committee was established. So I'd really like you to take that into consideration, please. You know, I have no to then defer to the, that district, those districts, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. That, yes, if you could, so, both of you. Yeah, we, we talked a little bit about that when we were, I met with District 5, mm -hmm. and that's why Mary Lou had mentioned we moved the line down to 79th Street, I think, that um, I think the assumption was, I mean, there was really nothing south of there that had any voter, right? so I don't think it really matters. Although I think, if I remember right, you know, you maybe pull it up. I did think I saw there was a, a number 10 in there, so there was maybe something, there's somewhere down there, there's 10 voters, not sure that that's a big deal. Um, it didn't inspect population, so we really didn't, you know, get into it, I think. Uh, and I thought maybe all, all of Green Valley was in there when we moved it down, but it's either zero or there's 10 people. So we put a line, doesn't matter. We put part of it in five, but we did have that discussion. Uh, you did, so if I can interject, sure. because Brian and I had a good conversation in there about this. I just think though, that if we do bring it down to that, to the straight line at the bottom of the county, then we've also got to include this area over here to the left. And so I think this may be something that we just have to zoom in with the map maker and see what impact that has, because to add to go straight down to the bottom of the county. It's hard for everyone to see, but on my map, I kind of threw it in, but then we also have this chunk here that has to get added, and Brian and I just have to figure that out. So when we did it in the map room, we thought that we had included the whole area, and we just didn't realize that it went that far down. So. Yeah, although it's going to be major changes we deal with the left of that, right? Add this thing, but then see, we have this big chunk. So. Yeah. So it was looked at. I mean, that's, you were here. 
wrong. You were the two in there. Yeah, it was looked at. District. We just didn't realize that we needed to take it all the way down to the straight edge of the county. But you can still take but it all the way down there without. But playing. then I think, let me just show you what I have I know here. What you're because then we'd have to add this in here. But that's a whole bunch of that's a whole bunch of population. It is. It? That was my worry. So that's, that's why I felt like we had to do it just in take the room. it down like this. But then where does this go? Where does it? Does that go to three or to five? It's in. Do you see well, what I'm saying? Three now, you would probably do it. Well, you go down like go this. Up. You go like this. And then keep. You just take this down like that and go up like that. And keep this in five. Do you know what's going to be? No, it's 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 in three. No, it goes down, down, and then comes back up. Please. I'm sorry, I see this too. I know, and it's still me. Yeah, do you want to see that? This is. Five. <laughs> so we would just have to, right now. That's right. Yeah. 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 So it just we have to see how much population. Well, we go down right here. <laughs> There's a lot of population. What is this neighborhood? Do we know what this neighborhood is? Oh. Do you know what that is? I don't have it. But that's uh, multiple, that's it's multiple precincts. precincts. That's probably oh, more pre I four precincts. Now. So yeah. when we did it to here, we thought we'd be encapsulated the green oh, bar. But yeah, this is like four, that's going to be it's several be thousand people. Well, that was my concern. So that's why I feel like we've got to go into a deviation consideration there. So we looked at it and it's not going to work out. Well, there's going to be a lot of population there. There's like four precincts. This is where we're concerned is that there's a lot of population in here. So, so you're talking right here. Yes. Yeah. So we just don't know what that is. So means. it's just between Hobson and 75th. It doesn't include any voters. Oh, I know. But if you go straight down left. here, you go to the left. And then mm -hmm. you're cutting off the, this, all these precincts here. Right. Yeah. Josina, can you pull up District 5 and, and District 3? Right in the middle of the district. I guess you can draw the line across. I mean, I don't know. Does it does Green Valley go all the way to Will County border? Mm -hmm. I'm proposing to 75th. It's, 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 it's already it's going down to 79th Street. 75th is a natural boundary. Yeah, Green and Hobson Road. 53, down 53 to 75th Street, over to Green Road again, and then back down to continue the district is drawn. It only puts that section. Well, where are you going farther south? We're going south to 79th Street. Right, but you don't have to. You include Green Barn. You don't have to. Then already in five. Sorry. I just don't so what are the bills likely to pass in Springfield is an omnibus bill um, in this veto session, bringing precincts from 800 to 1600. Is that, would that well, and all the precincts are getting redrawn after our maps are done. Yeah. So we like, don't we do don't, ours by precinct. We, don't, we yeah. can't do so. it. Yeah. With that consideration, I don't know. Which well, I wish Brian we could make up our mind precinct. because precincts used to be 1,200 and we lowered it to 800. Now they're right. 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 four precincts over there. I'm just trying to help Mary Lou. Thank you. Yeah. With her. So where's that green barn at? It's right in the corner of Green Road and Hobson Road. So, you know, Sina, are you able to pull that up? Looking at it. Do you want me to screen share? Yes, please. Yes, please. But isn't that already in five? No. Right on the edge, isn't it? Right on the yeah. edge. There. Yeah. Right on the edge. Well, it wasn't in five before. So now we're but trying to see what we can All the Hobson's already in. Uh, Brian, it's up on the map. So, yeah. so where's that green bar? Okay, well, I'll send your way north of there. Okay. Where's your phone? There's a green road. I don't want to be read. There's so many people. Can people see my screen? Yeah, they're, they're looking. Green road's that curvy one. Brian, the one that's got a little bell there right by the angle point. The one that goes north and moves it to the middle, you know, we'll do this. So I think that's Green Road. Yeah. <laughs> and so here's Green. This is Green Road right here. Yeah, Hobson's way up at the top. So we need to be and this is Hobson right here. Green to 75th. Here's 75th. Or 53 is. So you're asking to take this into District 5? No. We're asking to take that 10, isn't it? No, they're way up north there. Oh. That's what they want. Ah. And it's different than what we talked about. Oh, that yeah. is different because I thought it was here. But the other street is in five. So okay. Three over here. That, that might work then. Because it's just 
Yeah. It's north of where you guys think. Yes, yeah, just this. Are we talking about in here then? No, no, no south of there. Wow. That big, yeah, right there where you're pointing. Right there. Out, right there. <laughs> yeah, that can be taken in. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no, yeah, there's no, yeah, there's no, like, are we just talking? Oh, hold on. Like this. Like this. Like this. Are we just talking about those two blocks? Yes. We're yes. talking about more. No, no. Nope, that's it. That's it. That's it. Would anybody who's actually on the committee mind making that change? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying over here. I'm trying. <laughs> Thank you for trying to advance the <laughs> uh, Now we got District 3, Forest Reserve on the other side that wants to keep it in three. Do you want Brian and I to convene after this meeting? And well, no, I mean, it's, we got to do it now. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, we tried to do it. So would you guys mind making that change? Well, we got the District 3 over there saying that she wants to keep it. She wants what? to keep it. In. That's been mine. And it's, I really don't want to give it up. That's so then, I mean, the only thing that that was that chunk that we changed where that, sorry, my eyes aren't as good as they usually be, because we changed this, we were confused that it was here, so we could even just straighten that along that 11 line back to, so that we have that. And then we took it up, did we take one leaning to the left of there? We took a Naperville one yeah. and added it and make it about the same size. Pardon? I'm sorry. Correct. 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 We right. took that one in, and you just pointed, and then we yeah. added District 3. We added another precinct. I think the, you added 51 from 2, right? But it wasn't from me. No, I think it was from 5. I think it was an even switch of, of uh, voters. Okay. Like 800 each. Right. Let me go back to the old one. Oh, that little chunk there. You're right. Okay, yeah. I thought it wasn't taking that piece. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we could uh, either round there. We could either go back or keep it the way it is. I'm not. Yeah. I can't think. It's the committee. It's your district. I mean, I'd be inclined to just keep it the way it is. And, I mean, obviously, I thought we were putting with, Green Valley in, so like we, just flipped, we just flipped two precincts. Since we're on the board still, wants us to stay. Well, so. my no, we're talking about going back to the old, the old way. So we flipped two precincts, which didn't matter because we were, it's not even addressing the, the problem. The problem oh, that they okay. have. Been, we flipped two precincts thinking that that, that, was, that, was, that was part of it. Okay. Out, but it's actually. This preserve's always been in District 3. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I don't know about that. I would, I don't know about the one in 2000. Because in 2000, I know District 5 went, had five precincts in the village at Downers Grove. So in the 2002 remap, I know three started expanding, but I can't tell you. It was in there in 2000. It, is, yeah, so. it has been since 2010 yeah. or 12. What's the consensus to keep it the way it is? I mean, I don't know why to keep it the way it is. And then just straighten out the line on 75th, I believe, because we took that chunk out thinking that it was. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We flipped the two precincts. So just so I understand, is the mo is the proposal here to maintain the boundary the way it is with regards to the green, the, hop, the hops and barn or whatever it's called, yeah. but to undo the two changes that were made between the boundaries of District 5 and District 3 in the area of 75th Street. Is that what I'm understanding? Because yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to start drafting a legal description. Well, my question was to, could we please make that little change for Mary Lou Worley? The future of the barn. I mean, for the future of the barn. Well, and she made this request, like I said, long before this committee was even formed. But that, that's irrelevant because okay. it's been in District okay. 3 for all that time as well. I think that has some credence. Yeah, I'm trying to understand what the, what, and maybe this is just me. It's but a I'm, Naperville family. I'm sorry, what? It's a yeah. Naperville family. Yeah. It's a Naperville family. We're not taking it away from them. They're still going to be in the county. Yeah. Okay. But are they anywhere near the village of Naperville? No, it's in Woodbridge. It's got a Naperville address. It's got a Naperville address? Yes. Yeah. But it's and nowhere. Naperville is District 5. Uh, but, but it's the village of Naperville. Just like Downers Road has all kinds of 
property down south of I 55. It's not anywhere near Down Scroll Village proper. But this is this boundary is like Lyle and Woodridge. It's not even anywhere near the village in April, though. That's kind of the maze. So let's, let's come to a consensus here. What's the, I mean, there was consensus to move it forward or keep the map the same. What are we going to do on that? I, I would make a motion to keep the map the same just to move it to a vote. Well, I mean, we have other things to talk about. So well, I mean, I that specific. Well, let's point. go while, while we're trying to figure this out. Sheila, did you want to expound on the Winfield? The Winfield, uh, yes. Um, there was a comment by Eric Spandy, past village president of Winfield, uh, to include all of Winfield and District 6. Um, the portion that is not District 6 from his account was only annexed in the last 20 years, I think. So it wasn't always a footprint of Winfield. So I would prefer to keep them that boundary as it is. And I've talked with uh, Member Schwarzy as well. Okay. That's fine. And you know, when we did our map, I actually had it drawn into. So, and then you two are the majority there. So I'll go with your recommendation. Thank you. Is that for Carol Streams Park? No, this is Winfield. It's right here. And then are we addressing all of these little things um, today or are we going to try to work through? Because I had several com public comments about um, Steeple Run that we divided that neighborhood between two. And well, before we move forward, I, we, the Winfield we're not going to touch, right? And yes. that was very correct. The district. And then before we move on to anything else, let's figure this one out first before if we're going to put this in a district five or keep it in district three. He's he made a motion, right? Yeah. yeah, I think they made a motion to leave it as is. I don't, I don't think I Oh, he did make a motion. He made a motion. He just made it second. Pardon me? Second. Okay. And this is just on that component that we're talking about, that like component. Okay. And okay. do you want to vote on that? Is it yeah, coming? yeah, we'll do it. Um, we'll do it moves it along then. Yeah, I mean, to keep it the way the map is drawn right now, and down in that area. Here, roll call, then. Member Pachowski. Yes. I'm sorry, this is to keep it as it is? As is. Yes. yes. Member Zay? Yes. Member Chaplin? Yes. Member Chavez? No. Member Krajewski? Yes. Member Ozark? Five to one. Okay. Now, any other? One last thing. Do you want to flip those two, or I don't care? So then, when when you say flip, which ones are you well, The two we flipped because we thought we were doing it, so it just be. I don't. Know, we just, just keep, keep, keep them the same. Just either keep it the same or. With how does that mess with your deviation? No, because these two. Are, I can keep them both at once. Okay. I don't think. I don't think that one has I'm anything in it. Well, no, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. the same population. Yeah, we flip these two because the population is even. Why don't you just keep them both in? Three. Yeah, so we still have some movement. Oh, and that was like 800, so. What precinct? I'm moving the largest one. Yeah. Keep us the same. Okay. And I'll keep it the same. Just keep it the same. So then that just goes back in. Five. No, we're just not going to touch it. We're not just, just leave it the same. Okay. Do you want to? No, we're not going to. We just we don't have to move on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you want to keep it the same? Okay. Um, any way before you go any other, do you want to talk? I mean, we, we talked about the forest reserve, you know, and um, do we have a copy? Do we have a copy of the forest reserve? We would have printed it for everybody on our chest and around there. Oh, make it around. I, didn't get I mean, yesterday, uh, member, Ch member Chapel and I got an email at 1209 from uh, uh, Dan Hebriard, the president, and this is a lot of stuff here. This will be on our website today. That's the two hours. Here we go. Sorry, I they, got, they, got, they, got, they got bottlenecked here oh, by Brian. I, 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 I apologize. Wait, wait, wait. Yep. Let me take one. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. I only printed seven of those, so if we only accept them, thank you. Okay, we're going to
Yeah, and I think that was the reason we wanted to bring it up with yeah, the Winfield thought, portion. But again, right. I thought if there was some the majority of District Six wanted to go stay with our map and not right. go with the portion. So I thought, you know, because that would bring Winfield all together. But you know, talking with Greg and you guys said that you, you don't want to do it. So I'm perfectly fine with that. But I was just fine. I was wondering if there were ways that we could incorporate parts of this map where we, you know, that we thought maybe, oh yeah, you know what, that makes sense into our map, you know, that we have. Well, I would like to take a look at both, and because of some of these proposed changes, I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing one more round with the mapper so that we can look at the differences and maybe tweak some of these areas that people are commenting on. Um, I, I personally am not quite ready to vote on this map today, uh, just based on too many questions for me. Well, I would be similarly inclined because I just think we can't necessarily do this without some data and knowledge of working with the map maker um, to see exactly where some of these lines are and you know how they divided certain areas. So I think it's it's a good idea to have this as a good baseline alternative and see if there are benefits. Yeah, to... I think it, it would be easier for us to consider another proposal if we can sit down with the mapper and kind of drill down a little bit. And I, I, know, I know a lot of um, comments that I received was that, you know, the map that we drew looked like the map from 10 years ago. That was a big issue. Well, this map from the Forest Reserve looks like the map from 10 years ago as well. So, you know, so like I said, so these maps are very, very similar. They look exactly like the map from 10 years ago. That's what people are. I mean, that's what I got a lot of pushback on that the map that we drew looked like the map from 10 years ago. So um, I don't know if we're going to have people happy with either of these maps, honestly, to tell you the truth, because this map does not. And I will tell you, in reading some of the comments, you know, there was one I can't, I don't know if I misread it, maybe I was dreaming, but I, I, I remember reading a comment that said, you know, this was a good bipartisan map and that, you know, the way we worked on it was. A, you know, we had a, you know, I disagree. I thought we had a good um, process that was used, rotating in and out of that room with committee members. We all had an opportunity to go in that room and make the changes that we wanted to our districts. But the, but the woman said, you know, you worked in a bipartisan manner and you know what, you're setting a very good example for how this should be done, right? So, you know, I don't know, one half of the what do you call it? Six of one, half of the dozen or whatever. I don't know how that saying goes, but you know, I, the maps are very, very similar and there's no real significant change to either of these maps. So yes. Number no, two, no, or, Ross, do you want to say something? Yeah. Um, if I may, just to give Matt a, an initial insight on what I see. First, there's no data actually provided there is there's just a PDF and so and the Forest Preserve hasn't done anything to provide shape files or anything where we could actually compare. So it's just a PDF. Um, we've asked you know, and that was we tried to ask our the consultants as well as the GIS department to do any sort of analysis. It's extremely difficult and the labor intensive uh, GIS gave some, a real high level analysis but that was about all that they could do with the PDF. Um, and on initial blush, on just looking at it, it uh, as uh, Member Chaplin noted, it looks similar and it looks similar to what the prior districts are looked like. But I think there are some important things uh, that the Forest Preserve's proposal does not take into consideration or do, which you, the current proposal actually does, which is, in part, you know, for example, between six and five, there was a conscientious effort to make that township line the border, which is uh, a statutory, statutorily uh, oh, required okay. thing. And yeah. something that uh, was voiced in the room uh, well, while that was occurring is something that would be beneficial to everyone involved because then they would know what the, what the township was after the border. Um, other, other places you can see where this committee Actually went out of its way to ensure that all municipalities were incorporated into one district or the other, where possible for deviation purposes, uh, where, where deviation allowed that to happen. Uh, this map does not do that. Um, it, it just, it, it, I can see where 
we did that in our proposal and where it is not done on this. Um, so that, that's a little word that not done specifically. So if you can see well, district, Carol Stream. Carol Stream. Well, District One, and I mean, they, we took, we gave all of District One Roselle. They actually brought Roselle farther to the east and into District Six. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, we had given that to District One to make it whole. And now on the exchange, Carol Stream now, which was whole in District Six, is now divided between oh, yeah. District Six and District Four. Yeah. Yeah. And they seem to uh, use some of. Uh, Glendale Heights in sure. District One, yeah. while we brought that all Pretty into close. District Four. Pretty close. Um, and then it's it things like that that I, I just notice again without just looking at a PDF. It, it, it's not that's really all we can. Just I'm sorry. Go back yeah. on District Five and Six. So is is this okay? I'm, I'm terrible at reading maps, but is this the township line right here? Yes. Okay. The, the dotted line. Oh, okay, that's what. Okay, that's I was trying to figure out what's. Reasons. One of our public comments was, was arbitrary and through a neighborhood. Now it's actually the township it's line. The township. It's a township. It's a and township and there was that's a there was a concerted and, and overt action to, to fix map. that line. And yeah. this yeah. statute says to keep the township <laughs> line. Tra townships and municipalities wow. together. And, and what is and what is this, and that's in which. Um, yeah, that's the county. That's the state county. So then, could that be challenged because of that line? I mean, I don't know. So the, the only reason to not do that, and why in some places we couldn't, for example, keep whole municipalities together, a bigger municipal, is because for deviation purposes, that's the only reason under the county's code that you're allowed to uh, split a township or split a, a okay. municipal. So. I can't speak to what the Forest Preserve's okay. reasoning for that is, of course, because there was no reason. So here, provided. so along this whole but, line is below the township where we kept it at the township. Correct. 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 The reason it's arbitrary, but Mr. It, Powell's yeah. comments is not. It's a township line but going the township around. Line. It's a good yes. point. Between yeah. four and two, there is it does ex in our in the county's uh, in the district redistricting committee's proposal. Mm -hmm. There's a large portion between four and two that also continues along the, the township line. Which is on purpose. Wait, four and two? Yeah, I mean, we four have and two. forest okay. preserve people here. Do you guys know the reasoning at all? Can I ask you? Sure. Yes, yeah. please. Uh, Al Murphy, Commissioner, District Six, Forest Preserve. Oh, oh, that way. Okay, I'm looking at. Okay. Unlike you guys, we were asked to give our opinion once. We were handed the map and said, "Here you go. This is the map." We have not sat down and discussed it. We have not been given the opportunity to say. Why don't you change this or that? Just here's the map. That's it. We have not voted on the map. You guys are treating it like it's a voted on document. It has not been voted on or certified by the Forest Preserve Board. As far as maps go, let's look at the whole room in here. Every one of you has a interest in the map. You had an outside organization, the League of Women Voters, come in, look at the county's map, and they said, you know what? This is a fair map. It's well drawn, and it's an independent organization coming in and saying this. They don't have a interest of, well, you're going to draw a Republican precinct over a Democrat precinct. They aren't bringing in a forest preserve so it can be Bought to the virtue of a, a family. You didn't ask the Murphy clan what the Murphy clan thought about the map. And the Murphy clan isn't giving an opinion on the map. But what I am saying is you had an outside independent organization come in and say the county map is a very good, well drawn map. And it's fair. Mm -hmm. That's something that each and every one of us wants. We're all Americans and we all want what's fair. I think the county map is presented as a fair map. It does, it's, it's fair to everybody, I think. And you guys have discussed back and forth, worked on it and worked hand in hand. Whereas at the Forest Preserve, they asked our input and then said, here's the map, that's it, you're voting on it. We haven't even voted on it. Thank you. We actually did ask the Murphy clan there. 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 Murphy clan there.
Well, that, that was the one question I was going to ask. I think I just got the answer. But I was going to ask a couple of forces or members if they even had any meetings or discussion on this map. Again, we reached out to them four months ago, asked them to come and be part of this, and, and they could have given us input. Um, and evidently, if some one or two or who, a couple of people, somebody drew something up, we got no data on what how it was done. It doesn't look too different. Just in District 3, they just kept it pretty much the same. We straightened out boundaries. Um, and straightened out on the streets that, you know, and they didn't seem to take that into account anywhere, but had they been here, they could have given us input. So I'm not even. You know, we had met, and I agree with everything uh, Commissioner Chaplin said, we have the statutory authority and basis for this. And we have probably the, the, the premier, the dean of election lawyers who complimented us, Josina, who does maps, complimented us. This is not the DuPage County Forest Preserve map. There was somebody from them. You know, I, we invited them to participate, even though they couldn't vote because it was by statute, and they and they didn't. And then I have commissioners here who said we have had no input, not voted on. We were handed the map. If you read the comments, about eighty to eighty-five percent are are saying what a great job we did and what how well thought out the League of Women Voters to approve this map. And you're not going to make everybody happy. But if, if you read the comments, there's a substantial amount of people here. They have no standing to come to this and say, okay, this is the alternative map. I don't know who drew it. He doesn't know the data. I don't think it should be considered at all because they don't have a basis for this. I propose that we stay with the map we have. Everybody could draw a map. And again, they were invited to this committee to participate and they chose not to do so. By statute, it is the county board who draws this map, nobody else but us. And I don't need, I, I will look at what they give us, but it, I, again, this, their, their map, somebody tweaked it. It wasn't the board, it didn't have any, our, our, our process is very open and transparent. And I thought we worked very well together. We were complimented by our experts on how well we did. And I don't want it to be political. So I, I, I'm going ahead with what we already voted on and, and I'm not gonna consider other maps because I don't think that's my duty. In, in this map, just like the old map, pretty, I mean, I think it keeps all the incumbents are, uh, I, I, I mean, it's very similar to ours. So no one, maybe Sam, I don't know if he's mentioned. I can't but, tell I'm pretty close. But it's, maybe I mean, it's, it's, it's very, very similar. That's what I thought. Maybe if we look at this yeah. map and we look at our map, maybe we can find, you know, maybe looking at it, we might say, you know what, hey, I like where they did. That's why I was thinking in Winfield. I thought, you know, maybe we could incorporate the Winfield section into our map, but then the consensus is not with that group. But, you know, were there other communities that kept or kept whole in this map that maybe aren't in our map that we could maybe look at? I, I don't know. That's, those were my thoughts, you know, you know, to just see, you know, if we could somehow do that. Amy, did you have a comment? Well, I just wanted to comment that I do know in talking to my Forest Preserve representative in District 5 that she was in some one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. sessions with the map maker. So I think it varies on, you know, I'm just letting people know that sounds like that people were included in that process. But I know that Barb was. So. You weren't either, Linda? I'm Linda Painter, uh, District 5, or District 3 Forest Preserve. Um, I was the very first one that was invited. Every commissioner had a chance to go in and talk to the attorney that drew up the map. I was the very first one. I suggested. So, again, it's their responsibility to be here. They have not participated. We've been drawing this map for months. They could have come in here two months ago, a month ago, a week ago, and told us why they did whatever they did, and they refused to do it. Have you talked to their attorney at all? We yeah, you not. got nothing. They've got no data. We got a, a map. And we're already, it's October 
whatever, 20th, 21st. And they just refuse to do it. So, I mean, at some point, you got to tell, I mean, the 19th. October 19th. And, you know, yeah, and they could have been here weeks ago at every meeting and they could have been giving us input while we're moving lines and adjusting stuff and trying to make community poll. And they chose not to do that. They chose not to, they chose to have a couple of people sit somewhere and draw a map. And they still haven't given us data for it. Did you want to? Well, I, a couple of points I want to make is, you know, a lot of comments were made about, oh yeah, they look very similar, but really until you drill down into the data, you can say that's true, but I think that we need to drill down further on these maps in order to make that uh, claim. Uh, the second thing I'd want to say is, I don't think the forest preserve process was that much different from what we went through. Each one of us got to meet with the map maker one time. Uh, District 5 was the last one in the room, so kind of, it was like, oh, okay, if everybody else decided this for District 5, then I guess that's where we are. So I, I guess I would like I'd like to propose that we have one more round with the map maker to, to be definitive about the choices that we're making on this map. And, you know, if we're going to split those communities, let's take a harder look at those things. Uh, I, I just think we're not quite there yet. What's the criteria? Uh, you know, my only other comment, I agree with number Krajewski. You know, the, I, I'm here. I've been here for three weeks. We know what, you, what you're all doing. If I had a problem, I would have made public comment. The Forest Preserve Commissioners had the same opportunity that I had. If, if any of them had, yeah, if any of them had a problem, you'd make public comment saying, hey, you know, you redistricted me into a different district. If there was something really big change that really affected them, they could have been here to let you know. And I would trust that you guys would have uh, taken a look at that and maybe made some adjustments. I don't think they're that much different. We had the opportunity to make public comment and I've been here and I have no comment. I'm fine with your okay. oh, If I just, just whatever the committee decides to do, I just want to put it out there and just remind them, remind everyone about the deadline. We are, we are, we are getting up to, we have, we're less than one month away before final mm -hmm. passage actually has to happen. Thanks, Mr. Chair. I'm not a member of this committee, but I, I applaud all of you for, for doing what you're doing. When I see the forest preserve map, my legal antenna goes up. It's my understanding the forest preserve has no statutory authority to draw a map. We could be, the, Sheila and I could draw a map, and we'd have as much standing to bring that map to this committee as the forest preserve does. The reality here is that as much as Member Chavez works with her forest preserve people, what should have been done is that person should have contacted member Chavez to come here as the representative of District 5 because member Chavez had the statutory authority to do what she's doing here. Not, take it for what it's worth, a rogue group of people who decided to put a map forth without any statutory authority and which I'm totally convinced would be struck down on a summary judgment motion in court, if there were an injunction brought against the Forest Preserve. Now, can you take this into consideration in assuming that this is a, a, a transparent map? Of course. Uh, we, we can write something down on the back of a cocktail napkin and you can do it. But you're spending a great deal of time on something where the people who've drawn this map didn't have the willingness to come here and work with your your committee that's been statutorily given the, the duty to do what you've done. And, and all the other things you said about it being fair and good and, and being in compliance with all of the, the other things, I'll make a great deal of sense and make me very proud that you were able to get this done. But quite honestly, giving this map from the Forest Reserve, for me, you know, somebody said one time, it's not something that wasn't worth the paper is written on when I had a resolution at the county board. This map isn't worth the paper it's written on either. I don't even know why you're talking about it. It's it's it was done without any authority whatsoever. And if you're going to take this into consideration, you might as well take into consideration anything that anybody says. But I applaud what you've done. You have nine pages of public comment that I think should probably be because they've been led down the primrose path that the forest preserve has some kind of authority to do what they're doing. 
And every time you talk about it, you just engage and you, you allow the Forest Preserve to continue this charade that they have the authority to do what they're doing. Uh, and they don't. I don't know that I agree about that. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, ask, the, ask the lawyer. Ask the lawyer, ask our state's yeah. attorney. I mean, they're the ones who said that yeah, they won. Okay, so Dan did send over the population for the um, districts, which seem to be in our uh, 1% variations, but that's some information we got late, late last night. But with regards, I think, and I don't, I don't want to speak for you, Sheila, but I think what Sheila said, you know, we did say anybody could draw a map, right? And they could, you know, they could submit it as a comment or whatever, right? So anybody has the the right to bring whatever they want. You know, like I said, you know, not under has, the color of authority of a government well, body. Well, that's what you've got. Here. Okay, well, maybe okay. that. Okay, so okay. You've got here. They're going to put it online as something that a government body has established that they have the right to do, and they don't have the right to do it. You know, they don't. Well, have they the don't. Right they do don't have the legal authority to write the map. It doesn't mean that they, they couldn't take an. Yeah, I'm, I'm using this as an exercise, yeah. right? They used it was an exercise. Why is it online? Made. I mean, I, I don't know. I just thought all I, I think you're doing is confusing the public, but so that's your but decision. I, I thought it was worth looking at to see if we could come, you know, if they had like I like I thought because Eric came on my thing. I thought he, you know, put the two, you know, if we couldn't if we could make more contiguous communities and keep it within our one percent, then maybe it's something worth looking at. But if we can't, then you know, I don't know. Their map does the opposite, doesn't it? But, I mean, if I can, I haven't weighed in yet. You know, what I'm hearing is that nobody's really super happy with this map, which probably means we have a good map. That's what it means. Because one side's not happy, the other side's not happy. You know, it should be happy. The voters do page count because no special interest is getting everything that they want. Okay. We didn't have to go through the exercise like other counties and stuff because we deemed we were going to keep the county board same six districts our population only went up fifteen thousand people we waited for the census to come out we talked about using acs numbers we didn't we waited for the numbers to come out and when those numbers came out we sat here in this committee and we've had more than an open process in the forest preserve we've been meeting since january on this and at any point anybody could bring anything up to us and at that point when we saw it we said because it's, law has changed over the last 10 years where we had deviation of one voter right zero deviation now we had 10 percent let's look at cleaning up the 10 years ago where we are jagged through neighborhoods and everything else and try to make communities whole townships district six not to be in six townships and go down major roads instead of neighborhoods and that was our direction to our attorneys and to our, our map maker and we did that i mean we looked at other you know we, we didn't add districts. We didn't go to single member districts. We didn't, we weren't recreating the wheel at this point. We looked at VRA districts, which we didn't qualify for, right? We right. looked at all that. We couldn't do it. So again, the Forest Reserve, I'm sorry, just by sending Member Chapel and I an email yesterday, that's the most correspondence I've got from them in the last two months. I mean, I don't even know they even talked to us. I mean, if you also look at, they've scheduled a public hearing for next week, and then, then they're going to move on passage in November of their map. Passage of what? This is confusing the people of DuPage County. Like Member Tornatori had said, they don't have the authority. So why are they having a public hearing? And why are they having a vote where it says, this is from the president, uh, the board of, uh, commissioners will likely consider this matter at the November 2nd meeting, which is scheduled for Tuesday, November 2nd, 8 a.m. I mean, this is confusing the voters. We have that authority. We've looked at their map. Their map, when I look at their map, I pat ourselves on the back and go, we did a good job because we did what we wanted to do. We wanted to get communities together. And I know Eric Spandy, but Eric didn't create that. Liz knows, or uh, Sheila knows, if you look at our map, when we looked at it, you can see where I drew Winfield into District 6. Mm -hmm. And it was decided because I'm not in the majority there, they didn't want to do that. That's fine. We get give and take on that in our district. But again, we can sit here and tweak it and do everything else we want. And the clock continues to, to keep ticking here. I mean, we can go back. We could we could probably spend another month on this, tweaking this. Well, I don't like this, not like that. We have to move forward at some point. And again, the Forest Preserve, like everybody has said, they've had the opportunity to come here. My biggest problem is that we have two commissioners here that have been coming, and they're saying they were talked to once. Not 
having meetings, committees of the whole, have a committee of the mapping, nothing. It's a lot different than our process. At any time, anybody could have said anything. I mean, I was told we've had members that didn't like the minutes. We didn't like our first lawyer. We changed it. We didn't, we wanted to, we didn't like the second lawyer and we wanted to hire a consultant. We went out and hired a consultant. I mean, we've, every time somebody said something, we've made that adjustment. At this point, we have to move forward at this point and go forward and pass our map and, and go with it. And it's just so much that we can do at some point. I mean, map making is not fun. Like I said, it's like making sausage. Anybody could say, you know, let's look at it. Our map looks good. We brought communities whole. We went down lines. We went down township boundaries. That's what we did. We don't know what they did. We have no shape files. We have nothing. We don't know how they even did it. And it scares me that it wasn't an open process. Your force reserve commissioners here are saying, I got, they talked to me once, they made a map. Well, who was in that room? And it's kind of insinuated that, well, maybe some certain Forest Preserve members were in there. I mean, it's a bipartisan effort on our part. So, with the map maker, so. you know, so um, for the league, yes, Mary, go ahead. Yeah, just a quick comment. Um, the league has been mentioned several times in all of your comments. And what we said actually was that the process that the county board is using meets the guidelines for map making set by the League of Women Voters. We did not say that we approve a specific map, but we do think that the process being used meets our guidelines. Thank you. If I could just compliment that and say you have followed your guidelines, you've listened to my request in particular, and I appreciate that, and we don't have to agree. And it wasn't listening to a whirly, it was, it was the family is the greens. Uh, but thank you. I feel your thought process is fair, and I think you should go ahead and do that. Any game you just first ever shows. Okay, so I think I would be in agreement. I think we're close. I think that the nice thing about us, at least considering, is anyone can bring a map forward for us to consider to look at different parts to see if there's benefits to it. Like I've mentioned that other me, I think it's beneficial for us to take, even if it's just a week. I'm not saying we have to delay this process, you know, indefinitely. But I would like. Doors, to, okay, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna So gonna I would just here. propose that we do this for two reasons. One, just to consider some of the changes that they've proposed here, and then secondly, we got nine pages of public comment at 4:50 last night. And some of this, I will admit to, I got some comment on Steeple Run on the change that Liz and I made when we were in with the map maker. Apparently, we split that neighborhood. And I didn't realize it because we couldn't see the neighborhood boundaries on there. So there's a few things that I didn't even realize that happened when I was with the map maker that I just want to fix. It's a small fix, but I think we could easily do it. And I could do it one on one with the map maker if that's so approved, just to make that one small change or do it with Liz since we yeah, can do two. I don't know if we did it because of population to get it to the deviation that we were doing. I can't remember, but I know it was this section or this section we were talking about moving into into two. Yeah, and I think we did. And so there's just some small minor tune-ups. And I think we were all under the impression that we had, that was our first run with the map maker. We were going to be able to do one more fine tune. I'm not saying to extend this indefinitely, but I think we need one more look at this. Yeah, I'm going to make a motion to approve this map and we'll bring it next week. And you can make amendments on the floor on the map. And so if members want to get together and tweak a, a boundary, a neighborhood, yes. a, a street, or move something over, then you can bring the amendment forward on the on the floor, and we can make the change at that time. Because we're under, you know, time time constraints, as the attorney said, and you can make a motion to amend on the floor, and you can straighten out lines. So I encourage, if two and five want to meet and straighten out a line, or steeple chase, or population works, and you consultant, they come to a uh, agreement on that, amend it on the floor next Tuesday. Um, first, I'll say I would not be in favor of that. I don't think we're there yet. And if we move this to next week for a vote, that, that then we missed a week worth of time that we could have done those little tweaks. Um, again, we did say that anybody could bring a map, which the Forest Preserve did. And I think to question their process is a red herring. Uh, we have the map to look at. And, and it is a comparison to what we've done. Um, and I, I agree with Amy that, yeah, that first meeting, I think we all suspected that we were going to have to meet with that map maker for at least one more time. And, and that would be what I'll advocate for. 
So if we push this back, we won't be voting on the map until November 9th. Nine. And that gives us less than a week, a week to, um, if there's any still issues with it. Well, I said, go and meet this week. You got a whole week to come yeah. the next Tuesday. If you want to straighten a line out, then I mean, end it on to the being, floor. You know, to be honest, at the last meeting, I was very specific and said we we're going to vote on this map this Tuesday. I mean, it didn't say anything about we had one more chance with the board so or with, with the map maker. We, everybody sat here. Our consultant said it was a good map. Our attorney said it was a good map. We didn't hear anything about steeple run or anything at that point. Everybody's had a chance to look at it. Yeah. So I apologize. I didn't know until I got public comment, which I just received at 450 last night. This is the people's map. And I think the people right. well, and have again, like Remember, you said, you can, you can you can amend on the floor that. and, and go with the floor. We can amend it on the Figure something out. If you want to change it, you change it. Yeah. I can have some time to meet with you. That's right. Just work on it. And, yeah, but I do want to also take the force preserve into consideration. So maybe a couple recommendations for changes. Well, now something. we said it was a couple of little ones. Now we're taking the force preserve map. Now it's changing. So yeah, that's what happens. It's, it's going to continue to. Some little changes on here. We make have a motion yeah. a second. Hold on. Yeah. I just want to make sure. And then, okay. and then yeah. could, now, just for process wise, if, if board members did want to meet with them to change the. Um, just how, how do we do talk this? Members at a time, you can't uh, violate okay. okay. so If they minutes. want to talk, if they want to meet and do any kind of changes, they should meet, the but talk to Jason, and then Jason will get the consultants. Okay. And then, so it's all, we know what's going on, and so it's all on just transparency. Just trying to make population close if you're moving. What is, what, yeah, sorry, I totally blacked out. What did you say? Well, just talk with Jason if you guys are going to meet, and then he can meet with have the consultant ready to go. Okay. And so we have a record of who's meeting at what time, so it's transparent, so we know. Okay. So can I ask a question? Because I'm not again not a member of this committee, and next Tuesday as a county board member, what am I going to be voting on? Is it the map that you are either going to pass or not pass today, or is there going to be a map that's going to get tweaked between now and next Tuesday by various members? Of this well, right committee now, and others, it's going to be this man. Be this man, and it has to be amended on the board be floor. With, floor and yeah, I, I, I just hope. want to know, so I, you know, so I can, I can figure and out. I what I'm suggest that if the two and five meet, and you guys come to conclusion, at least talk to two and five other colleagues, that, so they know what's going on. Yeah. If you're coming to the floor, that you're all in agreement with it. Okay. Otherwise, yeah, we can look at that staple run area and. <laughs> okay. Can I get a copy of the public Honor, comments, please? Connor, you want to say something? I think it was Mr. Uh, two things, one, a directional question, and then the second one for Josina. The first being, I just want to make sure I understand what my directive is. Is any comment amongst any of the committees saying, I'm sharing it with all of you so you know what that meeting is, when it's occurring, anything along that line? Is, is that an accurate statement of what I'm hearing? I'll just forward it to everybody and, and we'll make it so nobody's responding or anything like that? All right. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, second. reply off. Perfect. Second, I would like to ask Josina, I'd like to know what your schedule is for the next week. Is this is this an option to where we can we can have some time or I need to, I just want to logistically figure out uh, uh, what that looks like. And then yeah, you know, I'll I'll make my third comment afterwards. Go ahead, Josina. Um, I work at the pleasure of the committee. I'm happy to prioritize making time. I would ask um, as we tried to do before that. Um, at least the preliminary set of uh, requests or comments are sent ahead of time so I can take them again as a whole, um, you know, to ensure that we don't uh, go beyond deviation and try to figure out what kind of trade-offs um, and the like are possible. But I will take all of the public comment um, as well into the process along with those comments and then happy to go through whatever process that you all set up and happy to work on scheduling. Well, no, I think that just okay. my third question. Never mind. And, okay. Just add, and I, I don't want to speak for Connor, but if there are any minor tweaks to what the resolution currently contains, the resolution currently contains all of the legal descriptions and the, the census tracts. So we probably need any minor tweaks, et cetera, to get to Connor so that he could yeah, if you feel bad for me, it yeah. takes a lot of time to draft a legal description on a parcel of this size. Um, oh, to, to give you an idea, the, yeah. the, the meets and bounds for all six districts took me about four days of complete working on it to draft. So it, uh, bear, bear in mind that it's going to take a little while, several hours probably, to make sure all the conforming changes are done appropriately. So I would really appreciate 
very much. If there's any planned amendments for the floor, that you get them to be well ahead of time so that I can make sure that I at least have the language drafted for the resolution. Yeah, so if, that's the other thing. If you think this is just a small minor tweak, it's right. not. If it's actually make up the whole map. A, large, a large change of description in the map and in the resolution. And if we don't do it right, then we open ourselves up to. Well, yeah. We can talk with we can talk with you, seen about this steeple run area. See how it. She will give us the deviations, right? And then if it's significant, maybe we just I don't say. Because I, I just say we just split a little bit of a neighborhood. Doctor and. And I'm over right now. By I still have a one percent deviation, so I can let go of more. Guess how I did that. So we can just whatever I need to give away. It should actually make our deviation closer. Okay. I just have a quick comment. Uh, I assume this is like when we have our budget and we vote on our budget. There are amendments made that day, and this is what we'll be voting on. And if 10 people go ahead, they change it. Will council be at our next meeting for the county board meeting? And I would say yes, he should, as well as Josina, because if we're going to be, this is the map that's going to be brought before the county board. If there's a change and there's an amendment, we need to know that sooner mm -hmm. because it takes 10 votes to do anything. So to me, it's like our budget. We're on the day of the budget. We've amended the budget to include certain things that certain members had an interest in, and they had the votes to do so. Mm -hmm. So I, I applaud moving this forward. And if there's 10 people that want to do it, then that's fine. It's the will of the, will of the majority. So again, that gives, I, I've gone through the public comments you know, very few are specific to that exactly. people chase or whatever. So again, if there's three or four of those, that's fine. It can be addressed and looked at. I'm sure it, it hopefully it resolved. But again, this is the map that we'll be voting on. And this is the map that will have to be amended. And that map would have to be supported by, I would assume, well, nine or 10 people, depending on how it goes. No, yeah, and I, just I talked with Jason. We had already planned a presentation at the next board meeting on this. So it's just not going to come up for a vote. There's going to be a presentation on the process. Hmm. You know, our special state's attorney is going to be there. We asked Josina and then at least would be online so they could they could zoom in. So we're no, voting on this at the next county board meeting, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. But there'll well, be a presentation yeah, first yeah, on the process yeah, and all that. Okay. okay. I think we've talked enough. We do a roll call on this. And I just have oh, one sorry, comment and it really doesn't pertain that much to this. Is is to the misinformation in the public comments. I didn't know if there were ever going to be any comments. I mean, people are like, oh my God, now you made me move from Roselle to Hanover Park or I mean, sending to different school districts and things. I just think that there was enough of that in here that at some point we ought to maybe set that record straight. That's my only comment there. Okay, okay we can work on that. Okay, we have a roll call on moving the map forward. I have a motion by Member Pichelski. and I second it. Uh, so there is two. Uh, there's two motions on the table for the exact same thing. So technically, the second motion is out of order. Yep. So the first motion we revert. Right. We'll go back to that. I made that first motion. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. fine. So it's yes. Can Hard you to tell you, you guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 We made. The, we originally made the motion to approve the map so we could discuss it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then Brian. Got all excited and made another motion. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't exciting motion. It would be my motion. Look excited. I'm not so sure. On the original motion, Member Pachowski. Aye. Member Rutledge. No. Member Zay. Aye. Member Chaplin. Aye. Member Chavez. No. Member Krajewski. Aye. Member Ozak. Okay. Four to two. Okay. Any other discussion? Anybody want to hang out and talk more? <laughs> no, better cater lunch. Okay. Uh, is there any old business? Any old business? Oh, any new business? Okay. Without objection, we're adjourned. Thank you.